guys, welcome to another video. Uh, I was able to get my hands on a Chapman guitar. Uh, I mean, I, I have followed Rob Chapman's and Anderton's journey with their Chapman guitar things. This one is called the ML Pro. The only reason I have this is because the store that lets me demo guitars, Main Street Guitars, had this as a trade-in. So this is actually a used ML1 that someone didn't want. And um, I just wanted to check it out, a Rob Chapman or a Chapman guitar. There's been a lot of hype around them and a lot of not hype and a lot of controversy, a lot of, do they suck? Do they not suck? Are they awesome? Are they great? This one uh, is the ML1 Pro Modern. It has a hard tail, goes through the body like a telly. Um, kind of a shredder guitar. Uh, this one, the action probably could be set up better. I didn't feel like it was shreddy. The action for me was not shred worthy, um, but that probably wouldn't take a whole lot to set the action a little lower for me. I just didn't want to do it. Um, but pretty cool guitar. I can't complain. It's really a shredder guitar. The neck feels really long to me. I'm just not used to playing um, guitars that just feel, and I think the reason why it feels so long is I'm not used to these rever reverse headstocks where you keep looking and there's no tuners there. So the neck just seems like it goes on forever. You can't see like the tuners here where they stop. I mean, they're down here, but anyway, it's got locking machine heads as well. Um, I think these go for about a thousand bucks used or new. I can't remember. I looked it up online. Anyway, this is kind of what it sounds like. Uh, you heard a little bit of it in the opening intro of the video. Uh, but this is a Chapman guitar. Again, the ML Pro, ML1 Pro Modern. Here we go. <laughs> where it sounds like really dirty which i imagine if you have this guitar you're going to play it dirty a lot but let's just check out what these sound like clean Anyway, you guys. 
this. Uh, the Chapman ML1 Pro Modern guitar. Looks pretty nice. Um, not necessarily my cup of tea, uh, but it's not too shreddy looking that it wouldn't be something that I would play, but uh, they make some telly or some T style versions of Chapman guitars. And that's pretty much what I would be into as a telly style looking guitar. Just looks, but overall my impressions of this guitar was um, neck through body. Just, I feel like they're well-made. I, I didn't have any problems with it. It sounds good. Uh, it's probably competing with other brands in this kind of shred type guitar like Ibanez. Um, I don't know where, who carries them in the States really. This is the first one I've come across living where I live. So they're not a whole lot of them floating around yet. As far as I know, um, the only people that really know about these are people that get on YouTube and have followed uh, Rob Chapman and Anderton's music and those guys. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think it's a bad guitar and I don't think it's um, a pretty good guitar. I mean, is it a thousand bucks good? I don't know. Or 1200, whatever it is. It's got a volute there on the neck as well, which is nice. Or the headstock, I mean. Anyway, you guys. Thanks for watching and checking this one out. Um, I'm Rich Bischoff. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Adios.